Hello folks, welcome back to Conarium. Pick it up right where I left off last time. Um, let's try to remember. So I went through the crew quarters and I found a key that had a wit. What's the name on it or something like that? How do I open my inventory? A key with a tag on it that reads Johan DeWitt. 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 Whatever. Okay, uh... And I'm pretty sure I've already been in his room. So... Not sure... Make sure. Check one more time in here. There a DeWitt. I went... Say their names somewhere? No. Said their names over here. Was that, uh... Already been into a DeWitt's room? No, he's not even in here. Um... Well... Make sure there was nothing locked in these rooms that I might have missed. I kind of doubt it. Is it a locker? Ah. If his coat is just yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Where is he now? Okay. I've noticed a very curious and dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew that compels me to record this note as an initial diagnosis report. The problem is especially intense for three subjects, Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman, whom I've been inspecting closely since the onset of their psychological degradation. During the past two nights, the aforementioned subjects awoke, screaming in their beds, thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed some serious deviations in their behavior patterns. As time progressed, I noted their deep changes in their- I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly started to behave like someone else, which led me to believe I was facing some sort of multiple personality disorder, but it's too early to draw any conclusions. Other subjects are not too far a cry from their normal personalities, but the difference is, of course, obvious. Their condition is getting worse day by day, and a serious medical examination is needed to be carried out on everybody displaying such symptoms. I informed Dr. Faust and warned him about the consequences. He looked worried, but nevertheless hasn't mentioned it to me since. With the weather conditions we've been having lately, it seems extremely unlikely that we shall receive professional help from the outside world, or we'll be able to send anybody away for a thorough medical examination, which is the only sane thing to do under the circumstances. Okay, I was kind of hoping for like a... something to tell me where to go. A secret. I was a secret, huh? I was looking more for something to press with, but. Shall I go go? Okay, well, let's keep looking around then. Not entirely sure where to go next. Elevator, maybe. Maybe we can take an elevator. It's stuck. It's stuck. Storage. Say there was an elevator back here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's some trees. It won't open. Thank you, Einstein. I didn't notice. Hmm. It's stuck. Depot Bio Lab. Uh, it's stuck. It won't open. I wish you wouldn't say something every time. I know that there's an option to turn that off, but uh I don't want him completely silent, so. It's stuck. 
Okay, we can't go into the depot. This is a strange scene going on in here. What's that say? Glossopterus? Okay. Can't say I know what that means, but... by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Sahiti, okay. Well, now I know how to say that. What do I gotta do here? Okay, I need something to get it open. Crank or something like that. Crank handle. So we should check these. Don't see anything obvious. Let's oh, coffin for uh, link elevator. Okay, this way, then, I assume. Figure man seems to think so. What? Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and the bottom levels below the base. Camping equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Tower base cavernous. So. Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. Another handle. <laughs> something like that. Okay. Hopefully it's actually down here and I don't have to go back and forth. Bunch. I didn't see anything like that up above or I would have picked it up. Can I take... There we go. No, no. Oh, I thought... <clears throat> I forgot that icon means to travel between places. I thought he was going to take the handle off and borrow it. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to have to go back. Well, let's have another look. Gotta be something I'm missing. I mean, obviously, but... Something I didn't notice on plants like that. This. 
Temple flooded caves base. Provisional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. Submarines also work great. They're fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We've started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it's slow going. I want to see these underwater passages. So. It's stuck. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, I uh, missed a note somehow on the desk. Dr. Faust is very tight-lipped about how he came up with that strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, the sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who liked to chew a certain alkaloidal herb. Uh, the sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to breaking point. But now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorbed much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that, because it is a shared experience, I'm able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to the other participants. Usually my mind wanders off, or my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I've slept for several hours. That strange, de strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked back and found that note, but I'm just, I still haven't found a, uh, a handle or anything to interact with to open this yet. So that's a little frustrating. Well, um... Oh! That looks like a handle. <laughs> okay, I didn't even see that the first time I was in here. I'm glad I came back, I guess. Uh, let's find our way back down to the lab then. Okay, let's see if this thing, it doesn't look like an elevator handle, so let's see if it's for this object first. Is? What the hell? Kitty cat! Hi kitty. Devil Shadow Kitty. Um. Oh dear. <coughs> oh good. Okay. Okay, good then. <laughs> Dead funny. I was about to say this is very Bioshock. Okay. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. A uh, key. Cool. What is this? An anonymous note. 
We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again, situated within the circular building we reached with the Link Elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris and almost and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the time, first time, but I stood aghast contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civiliz civilization could have constructed con pardon me English. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur, now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters? Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols re resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it's evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. Who is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. So, I've been told. Okay, um... Is there anything uh, in here? I'd hate to leave and then have to come back. Like so often happens. I got a key. Um, I'm gonna guess it unlocks one of these doors back here. Maybe Biolab 2? Okay, what do you want me to do? Okay, I'll leave then. Uh, do I need to bust out my little wrist thing? even do that. Can't do anything. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I... I am going to think a bit more. Alright. Antarctica, the southernmost continent and the site of the South Pole is virtually uninhabited ice-covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches towards South America. It's known for the La Mer Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg flank passageways and Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is legible. Agartha, the markings on the Antarctic. Where have I heard that word before? Okay, some plants. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, I wish I could read that. Uh, uh, if I remember, I'll 
drop a translation screen here. Okay, Shadow Figure Man. Uh, you want me to leave, do you? Why do you have skulls? in someone's house. Obviously I'm hallucinating, but... Ah, uh, coffin. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? Locked. Okay, what about this one? It's locked. Thank you. Oh. say that the legendary drink of the oldest myths i heard about that elusive mixture decades ago when i was writing my thesis on salvia divinorum also known as the sage of the diviners an entheogenic plant used mostly in religious or shamanic shamanic how do you even say that word ceremonies for centuries no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystical psychoactive properties ah of course in some sources it was the drink of the gods while in others a key for opening the gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses the soul bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients that's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there's a chance for me to produce, if not the original, then a variant of the legendary mixture. With the new clues I have uncovered during my work here. Good for you. Whoa. Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially reminded us the Terracotta Army sculptures arrived as a funerary art. Well, that's just worded strangely. Hold on. Somewhat in humanoid form, these sculptures initially reminded us the Terracotta Army of, I'm gonna guess, reminded us of the Terracotta Army sculptures carved as a funerary art buried within the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the bas reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some task, tasks for their masters. Sorry guys, English is difficult at the moment for some reason. Just like the Egyptian Ushabtu, I guess, funerary figurines, which are the servants of their owner in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools as if waiting for a command. Trophy item, okay. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes when games have lots of reading for me, uh, it goes smoothly for a bit, and then my mind starts getting a little twisted up. Enunciation of the Zeises. Okay. Uh, is there anything useful in here? Other than trophy items? Oh. Now that looks like an elevator handle. Right. Found a lever. Well, I reckon we can use that elevator now. Better be able to. Uh... Right. I don't 
don't know if you can hear me, but I am trying to search it. This is the only way. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? Damn it! Who was he? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, we're gonna be going somewhere else now. I'm guessing down to the caverns, which should be pretty cool. But, uh, it feels like a appropriate place to stop, so we shall do this next time. So, see you guys later. Take it easy.